my brother-in-law, Brett, is an Angels fan. Boo. So I had a fun conversation I want to have quickly with you guys. Fine. Does Otani have the easiest path to MVP? No. Because he's going to pitch once a week, and he's going to hit four days a week. And if he can be a plus player on both sides of the ball, I think it's like... He doesn't have to do much to get MVP. They're going to have such kitty gloves on him, and rightfully so. They said that they're going to pitch him once a week. I don't. Yeah, believe. but I mean, they that, doing, I, that, I already read that. that. Are they doing a six man rotation? Yeah, six man rotation. Yeah. Otani once a week, and then four four times. I mean, that could be seventy five pitches to start. I mean, he's coming off a big injury. He's you know the prize young piece of that franchise right now. Like they. They aren't going to push the limits with him at all that I think guys are going to rack up more stats on both sides. Let me tell you something right now. We've been talking about some of our secrets, what we're going to be doing to put some content out there. One of them being prop bet here and there. Prop bet. Shohei Otani is plus 1,800 for the American League MVP. I don't hate that bet one bit. Yeah, I like him as the third best MVP on his team too. I agree with you guys. Or is that not Rend- what you said? Rendon is plus twenty five hundred. Mike Trout is plus one ten. You're paying even money essentially to bet Mike Trout for MVP, which is crazy. I mean, best player ever, arguably. I agree, but um, that's no fun. Yeah, and people like a storyline. It's become There's a storyline award. Close. <laughs> the next, the next closest one is uh, New York Yankee Aaron Judge at plus one thousand. You want to do DH stuff? It's going to be used as a rest day. I think the Cubs will will be Schwarber most days. Yeah, Schwarber. We know the Brewers would be Braun. Maybe even the Braves have kind of a more set DH. But I mean, I think you're going to see a lot of platoon stuff. They had two third basemen like doing really well, Camargo and Riley in camp, fighting for that job. So young, thick, but he's too young to be DH in all the time. Marcelo Zuna. Yeah. Ozuna, I mean, they've got an extra outfielder in Atlanta. Um, I, they could throw Ozuna. You could throw Marcakis. Um, young, thick Austin Riley. Ender? Don't. Keep Ender in the field. Okay. I like him. Yeah, I don't know. The Mets always jump out to me because I feel like they've had an extra bat for a couple years now. And a guy like Dom Smith, you can rest Cano. I like them. Trevor got mad that Jay Bruce was listed in an article. Do you want to talk about that? Well, they were talking about the Phillies, and and this article said that Jay Bruce will probably be their primary DH. But I'm again, I, I think they're one of the teams that's just going to rotate their veteran guys through that position. Yeah, they're going to keep Rio Muto healthy. He's going to get some days off from catching. He's going to DH. Bryce Harper, they're going to try to keep healthy. He's going to get some DH. Andrew McCutcheon, obviously coming off an ACL injury. Probably going to be a DH as well. So I do think Bruce will be there, and he's a hell of an option. But all these teams are just going to use it as rest days. What about the Reds? You think your boy Moose is going to get some DH run? No. If they've if, got much well, worse defenders than Moose, Castellanos might be the the Reds yeah. could be the big winner of this DH. Thing. Castellanos. Castellanos. I was say, if, if Moose struggles at second base, I could see him doing that. But all signs point to him being just fine at second base. So he's yeah, our Castellanos friend. is. What about your rocks, Jake? They got Murphy. That Rocks weirdo? are funny. I mean, Charlie Blackman, uh, Daniel Murphy. I think they're going to rotate the old guys through there. I Kemp? wish they just signed Matt Kemp uh, to replace Desmond. In theory, we'll we'll see if he he makes the big squad. I am looking at projected starting lineups and pitching rotations for this year. Yep. Let me tell you something. Say it, Trevor. Right now. I'm just going to go out and say it right yep. now. I think I already have my 2020 World Series champ. Pick. I'm going to say it right now. Just looking through it right now. Say it, baby. The Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah. I like them Rays. Their starting pitching yeah. is damn good. It's unproven. Gross. I don't know about unproven there. It's gross. They got a couple. Uh, has Charlie Morton ever won a Cy Young? No. Top three. Dude, but Charlie Morton is a huge Huge. He chews on gum and then he takes the gum and touches his fingers to his gum. Mm. Not allowed this year. I'm being serious. He does do that. Okay. I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna fuck up his ability. But he does touch his gum a lot. So I'm just look at out. these lineups. I'm look look, and I I don't want to make you guys mad. 
Rays need one more hitter, dude. That's my biggest thing. I love their pitching, but it's Austin Meadows or bust. They that just platoon. That is not true. Oh, my God. I'm going to look at it right now. First of all, I was going to say before you interrupted me. Sorry, Trevor. I don't love the Yankees rotation. Good. Good. You don't like Cole, Paxton, Tanaka? Tanaka? I like Cole. Okay. Ooh. Paxton's coming off a back injury. Yeah, from I, like three months ago. I'm hoping he's, he's good. He's off, I do he's like, off the I back. do like Paxton. Okay. Tanaka's like 70 years old. Oh, my God. He's younger than you. It's just wrong. He looks like he's 70 years old. It's just wrong. <laughs> It's just Yankee hate flowing through. I'm Can you saying. compliment Tampa without coming at the Yankees? Yeah, we're in. I'm fine with that. Tampa's got a good squad. I yeah. like Tampa. I just didn't. I the reason being, and and why I'm picking them right now to win the World Series, uh, yes. is that rotation. Hot take, Ploof. I have one more shower team. Jakey shower team of the week. Okay. So this season, a lot of talk is going to be around, like, turning it on, flipping the on switch. You know, it's time to go. Win games. Empty the bullpen. The past two seasons, I've got one team that has kind of fit the bill for this. Oh, I can't wait for this. They've kind of managed their pitching staff. They've had two big Septembers when they needed it. The Brewers. The Brewers. You know, I don't. Crew. I, I don't know if they've got magic sauce. I know they got that Yelich guy who he's pretty magical, but the past two Septembers and one where they lost him, they've turned it on, and we know they look at the game differently. They'll throw Hater out there seven and eight and figure out the ninth. Like the Brewers might have something in their Kool Aid jug that they might have this kind of go switch win every game because they've done it the past two years. So just a shower take. I don't know if you guys want it or don't want it. I like the Brewers. I like what you're saying, and, and, and Council's been good at that. They have really, really used to their advantage the September roster. I think they threw like 20 pitchers in a week span. That's not the exact numbers, but it was ridiculous, whatever it was. Like they used everyone to slow down the game, to mix and match, to keep the opponents off balance. They don't have that this year. I mean, they have, like, it actually goes the opposite. They go from 30, okay. where they might be throwing the whole kitchen sink. Then after a month, it goes to 26. They don't have that September extended roster. So I don't know if they'll be able to do it, how you're saying, towards the end there with so many limited guys. Like, they did that with 40 man, 30 guys yeah. to be able to do it. So. Will they have the guys in place to mix and match like they have in the last couple years? Because the stats were crazy with how many pitchers they threw. But their offense is good. Yelly, your guy, Trev. And you got Yelly, you got a chance. Mm. 